generously share a short worship for the week of 3 April 2022, the fifth Sunday of Lent. Our call to share responsibly. I would that ye should impart of your substance to the poor, every man according to that which he hath, such as feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, visiting the sick, and administering to their relief, both spiritually and temporally, according to their wants. And see that all these things are done in wisdom and order, for it is not requisite that a man should run faster than he has strength. Mosiah 2, verses 43 to 44. A Lenten Reflection The purpose of Lent is to focus with intensity on Christ and to make room within for God's redemptive and creative power. It is about self-examination, confession, correction, forgiveness. A moment for silent meditation. Enter into silence. Simply become aware of the space within. Don't attempt to fill it with prayerful words or thoughts. Be attentively present to whatever emerges. Approach your own inner space with holy curiosity. When thoughts or feelings or tasks begin to arise, acknowledge, but don't dwell on them. Notice they may be signaling about what is deepest within you that desires to be heard. In the calm of God's presence, simply listen. Even if you don't hear or notice anything, Practice making space within to be available to the Spirit's voice. In the silence, what did you notice about the state of your heart? If you were able to visualize this space within, how would you describe it? What predominant movements or feelings were present with you as you dwelt in silence? Is there an invitation arising from this time of prayer? How does it feel to be available to the voice of the Spirit? A prayer to respond to the needs around us. Heavenly Father, we join in praise and wonder for the rich blessings that flow to each of us through the Spirit of God's presence. Each time we come together, we are blessed in different ways. As we come today in remembrance of the cross on Calvary, 
and the ultimate gift of love given freely to us all through Christ Jesus, we are reminded that the world is still in need of healing, and we pray for peace. May we ever be vulnerable to divine grace and your Spirit's presence responding with, Here I am, Lord, send me. As disciples, we tell the stories of faith that strengthen and bring hope where there is doubt, peace where there is fear, so all may sit as it were under our own vine and fig tree and not be afraid. We have been counseled to lift our eyes and fix them on the place beyond the horizon to which we are sent. For this is our journey of trust, a journey in the great and marvelous work to which we are called. Our prayer today is for the whole world. May we respond to the needs within our communities to live as Christ did, bringing peace and love, the very foundation upon which God's kingdom is built. For this is our prayer in the name of Jesus, our Messiah. Amen. Go, share hope, peace, and trust in faith. God bless.